it's your girl Tiffany coming to you today with another spring makeup look. Last, I believe last week I did a Jaclyn Hill um, makeup look with my Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette. I um, that was very it was a very glam makeup look, but it was also a spring look that you could use. You know, you could do for the springtime. Um, today I am doing another spring makeup look um, from my Anastasia Artist palette. Absolutely love this palette. The colors are uh, super pigmented. It's just a very, very nice palette. And it's actually my first time using or getting a Anastasia eyeshadow palette. I've had, I've tried the Anastasia uh, contour kit. I got the cream contour kit. I have powder contour kit. Um, I've actually tried the Anastasia brow wiz. I've never tried her eyeshadows. And I'm actually very, very pleased um, with the pay, uh, color payoff and the pigmentation in her eyeshadows. Um, but Anywho, um, I actually wore this makeup look when I went and did the Grammys. And uh, one of my little sisters, my little sister Posh Urbanite, who also has a YouTube page, was like, you have to do that as a tutorial. So here it is. Um, and so it just has a, like, a little pop of yellow, that yellow, with a very subtle brown. And I typically um, don't wear yellow eyeshadow, but because the color in that palette, the color, I think it's called Fresh, the color in that palette is so incredibly pretty, I went ahead and uh, did a eyeshadow look with that. Um, so anyways, if you care to see how I did this fun spring pop of color with the yellow makeup look, then please keep watching. I'm going to begin this look by using my Rock Perfection Mattifying Primer. And I'm putting a little bit of this all over my face, avoiding my eye area. Next, I'm going to take my MAC Studio Finish Concealer and my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the colors in W40. And apply these to my under eye area to conceal my dark circles under my eye, as well as the hyperpigmentation on the side of my face. Next, using a damp beauty blender and blending all that out to make it very seamless and very even. Next, taking my Kat Von D Lock It Foundation in the color Deep 71 and applying this all over my face. Using my Royal and Lane Deco Flat Top Kabuki Brush, the BC4 BC141 Flat Top Kabuki Brush to really blend that into my skin. Next, taking a Cinema Secrets Concealer Brush and applying that Pro Longwear Matte Concealer again under my eye to really conceal uh, those dark circles under my eye. Next, I'm going to take my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder and apply this under my eye area to sit my concealer to make sure that it does not smudge, crease, or move. Next, I'll take my so, uh, Real Techniques All Purpose Brush and apply my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Deep Tan all over my face. Next, taking this Sasha Cosmetics blush in the color April's Love and applying this to the apples of my cheeks using my Real Techniques blush brush. Next I will be taking my bronzer from my BH Cosmetics Missy Land palette and applying this to my highlight area. Using my setting brush from Real Techniques. a little bit of that bronzer to the point of my nose just to bring that out a little bit. Next I'm going to apply my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in the color Milk as my base and apply this all over my mobile lid. Next taking the color Dusty Rose and apply this to my crease area using a dome blending brush from BH Cosmetics. Using that same 
Dome of Blending Brush from BH Cosmetics. Now I'm applying the color Baby I'm a Star to that same crease area, just really defining that crease area. Now taking the Star of the Show, which is fresh, and applying this with my small eyeshadow brush, and applying this to my mobile lid using Patty Motions. Next, taking the color Aubergine and applying this right above that yellow and defining that crease area using that same BH Cosmetics Dome Blending Brush. Next, taking my Real Techniques Domed Shadow Brush, taking the color Cool and applying this to the inner, to, not the inner, the outer one third of my eye just to really define that outer V area of this eyeshadow look and then taking this dome brush from the technique and just blending them and if you use any of that pop of yellow colors go back and up and pat that right on that mobile lid just to intensify that color again now taking my buttercup powder and applying this to my highlight area now taking my Lorac Pro eyeliner in the color black and applying this to my waterline. Then we'll back with a small angled brush with that fresh color and apply this to the inner one third of my eye. Next, taking my Ruby Kisses Matte Lipstick in the color Purple Affair and applying this all over my lip. taking my matte my MAC matte lipstick in the color deep love and using this as my lip liner to deepen that lip Bye.